This week, guys, we are visiting the beautiful Porcupine Mountain State Park in Upper Michigan. Come with us as we drive through the old growth forests of the park. We will also show you some of the rustic and modern campgrounds within the park. And as a piece de resistance, Yikes! I know I killed that, you will see breathtaking views at Lake of the Clouds. So if you can put up with us to the end, you are in for a treat. We also had an unexpected special treat, but we'll tell you about that a little bit later. of our Chasing Waterfalls tour and we are headed up to Porcupine State Park, Porcupine Mountain State Park to do the Presque Isle River Waterfall Loop. No thoughts? Don't go chasing waterfall. Yowza! Slow down on them corners. Hell no. <laughs> The bank gaff for me. <laughs> so we have about 10 miles to go. Camper restoration, parking, south pay station. Campground full. Morning. Good day. Overnight trail hikers use this lot. Let's see. Lake Superior. I don't see nothing like that. Mm, is it in or not? Mm. Well, we just drive through. Yeah, we don't find. Falls and day use only. We just want to go straight. See that sign oh. says falls. Okay. <sighs> Just roll on, big mama. <laughs> Ooh, stairs as far as the eye can see. Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna kind of do a drive-through ex exploration of the interior of the park. First of all, we're going to go do a drive through of one of the campgrounds here, which I'm assuming is a Presque Isle campground, but I'm not sure. Dump station? Yeah, dump your shit. I know. Because this isn't an RV one. It's pretty much for tents. This is RV. Well, I'm not saying they can't come here, but it's uh, primitive camping, they call it. Oops. Generator that way, generator, no generator this area. <laughs> you saw that one, did you? No, but it's a good idea. That cute little airstream. <laughs> oh, the lake's right put, there put too. The cones off the one that we served, huh? Eh? Right on the lake. Beautiful. Yeah. No gin never does. <laughs> oh, 
Or somebody's little, or one of those little Oliver ones. Those are nice. Nice walking tent camping in. All depends on what your needs are. Oh. Yeah, walk-in sites mm -hmm. back there. Looks pretty nice. <laughs> hmm. Pretty nice campground though. They do have bathrooms, that's one good thing. Does that go? Hmm. No, I don't think it goes too far. For the generator area. <laughs> they probably charge you more for the generator area. Maybe. We don't need tents back here though. What the hell? Why would you want to generate in the be in generator area? Mm -hmm. Superior. Yeah, trail. Nice. That's the end, my friend. Yep. Very nice campground. If you want primitive camping. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's the idea. A lot of people like the primitive camping. Okay, let's check out the Union Bay Campground. Whoa, she pretty backed here. The sights by the lake look nice, but the rest of it's pretty holy, man. Union Bay Campground is the park's only modern campground offering electrical service, a modern toilet building, a dump station, boat launch, camp store, and more. Several of the campsites are located along the shore of Lake Superior. A sandy beach is nearby. There are a variety of campsite sizes. Some are ideal for tent or smaller campers, while others can accommodate larger RVs. nice. I mean they're a little crowded but at least that one's yeah. private. This one in the end, I probably take. Oh yeah, that one's. One here. Yeah, that one's off by itself. I definitely like that one. These two, twenty-nine and thirty. Yeah, that one's good. I can just can't believe the view of the lake. I've never seen. It. Yeah, this side here is off in a corner by itself. That's really nice. Yeah, with a big ass grill. Yeah. Accessible. The trails are right there. Accessible. Yeah. Nice site by itself, but I mean, if you're gonna go to this campground, you gotta get one by the lake. <laughs>
Okay, so now we are on our way to Lake of the Clouds to check out the amazing views. But before we get there, I'd like to tell you guys about the nice surprise we got. Since we became YouTubers, we have really enjoyed connecting with fellow explorers. From the very beginning of our channel, we have been following a great couple from Tennessee. They are about the nicest people you ever want to meet and we really enjoy their channel. Their channel is Simple Life Big Adventures. Well, as it turned out, they were vacationing up in Michigan at the same time we were, so we had planned on a possible meetup. All seemed to be set for Saturday night at Lake Gogebic State Park. So we were out doing our thing, coming down the mountain at Lake of the Clouds, and all of a sudden, Terry says, Hey, those guys look familiar. Yep, you guessed it. It was Scotty and Melinda from Simple Life Big Adventures. We couldn't believe it. What a cool surprise. We instantly felt like old friends, and the accidental meeting made our later meetup so much more relaxed and fun. Well, for me anyway, as I am definitely not a social butterfly. So I just wanted to share that because it was a pretty cool, happy accident. We had such a great time with them and we are looking forward to many more meetups with Scotty and Melinda and hopefully other YouTubers as well. Up the mountain we go. Goes, ah, I love you. Ah, I love you. Ah, I love you. Ah, I love you. Porcupine is making love. <laughs> it's like a truck stop here. You just drive through, look <laughs> once, come back, and find your spot. All right, are we going to find a place to park? I'll find us a place. Oh, we found a spot right by the steps. Just in case. Okay, now we're gonna go check out the Lake of the Clouds scenic overlook. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, they must put the money into these walkways. Wow. Beautiful. I mean, pick you up easy as a drill. <laughs> <laughs> me as a drill. Yeah, you hold the camera and I'll twist you around. It's good. They fling you off. Thank you. 